Meghan and Harry made headlines around the world when they secured a deal of historic value, estimated to be worth $100 million, £72 million, with the streaming titan Netflix. It was their first major step towards financial independence after leaving the firm and enabled them to pay off the £2.4 million of taxpayers' money that they spent on renovations to their Windsor property Frogmore Cottage. But, ten months on from signing their new lucrative contract, the Sussexes have only announced one production which is in the making, Heart of Invictus. This docuseries will follow competitors, wounded or injured veterans, as they train for the international tournament set up by Harry, the Invictus Games, in The Hague next year. Many wonder how the Sussexes' productions will work, as they have little experience behind the camera themselves. Royal Watchers speculated Meghan and Harry were growing concerned about their own output when they hired Oscar-nominated producer Ben Browning as the head of content for Archwell Audio in March. Yet, Royal commentator Daniela Elsa warned that the couple need to act quickly or the deal will become a black hole for cash. She claimed, the fact is, even billion-dollar companies can't afford to keep plowing truckloads of cash into two very, very famous contractors if they do not prove to be a sound investment. The critic added, when the novelty and luster of working with members of the royal family wears off, if they don't have streaming counts or a clutch of awards to show for themselves, then will their contracts be renewed? Speaking to Australian outlet News.com, she said, when the Sussexes do start unveiling their slate of TV and podcasting projects they will get one shot, that is, one chance to impress audiences and make their mark either in terms of streaming figures or critical plaudits. Netflix's CEO Reed Hastings also defended his deal with them and predicted their programs would make up some of the most viewed content next year. But, notably, Mr. Hastings was speaking in September last year, and the couple are not expected to unveil many more new productions on Netflix anytime soon because they are currently on a five-month break from working life. However, Ms. Elsa also noted, Harry and Meghan snagged their Megabucks contract not simply because they are captivating and passionate humanitarians but because their fame and attendant pulling power is unbeatable on a global scale. She argued that the names alone will be able to draw in an audience, but that they will only have a brief window to prove their content is worth watching and retain the public's audience. The royal writer pointed out that this will be particularly challenging as they are going to have to deliver in spades to the streaming giant for them to really coin it. To compete with some of the more popular shows on Netflix, the couple are up against programs such as Umbrella Academy, which was watched for more than 3 billion minutes in the week it was released. Their Netflix deal is not their only new contract which has been scrutinized recently. Meghan and Harry signed a podcast deal with Spotify in December and set up online podcast Archwell Audio. However, since signing up to the contract worth an estimated $25 million, 18 million pounds, the couple have produced only 33 minutes of content. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex released a holiday special days after Christmas which included clips from their famous celebrity friends explaining how they had struggled throughout the pandemic. This did not provide a clear idea as to what the couple intend to do with their pee. This brief moment made the episode a hit among the dedicated fanbase, but the pair are unlikely to continue capitalizing on the private family life as they are keen to give the children a normal upbringing. Since leaving the firm, the couple's most popular work has also included the personal insights into what life was really like for them behind palace walls. In Harry's Apple TV Plus docuseries, The Me You Can't See, he accused the royal family of total neglect, when it came to his mental health. He made similar accusations when he appeared on Dax Shepard's podcast, Armchair Expert, and made bombshell claims against the firm during his CBS special interview with Oprah Winfrey, however, it's thought the Sussexes were not paid for these appearances. They are also not expected to disclose any more details about their lives as royals, despite the widespread interest in their claims.